Hello, Coach Lafleur. Yes, congratulations. Hey, so excited that you're in an NFC Championship game, but how many times do I have to tell you I'm retired? I can't come out of retirement to play. Yeah. Oh, oh, is this thing recording? Oh, hey, Coach, I got to go. Um, I'll call you back later, okay? Hey, Edison Eagles, welcome. It is January 20th, and that is right. Your Green Bay Packers are in the <laughs> NFC Championship game. I'm trying to tell Coach I'm – I'm busy taking care of Edison and trying to trying to make all this happen so I cannot play this next come next coming weekend. But hey, make sure you're cheering loud. Just want to um, bring us all together. And once again, it is the beginning of our new semester here at Edison. And hope you all had a long, enjoyable four day weekend. I um, wanted to share with you. I got it in my pocket here, and and I'm Martin Luther King Jr. Um, and we had Martin Luther King Jr. Day this week, and and I'm gonna I want to talk to you about one of my quotes that I just absolutely love. If I can find it here, it's one of the quotes that I um I've always I've always just admired about one of his quotes. And I want you to hear this: Everybody can be great because anybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and verb agree to serve. You only need a heart full of grace and a soul generated by love. Hey, I love that Martin Luther King Jr. And I'm not gonna ask you, what are you gonna be when you grow up? How are you gonna serve and make the world a better place? And I believe that's what Martin Luther King Jr. was, was saying to all of us. How are we gonna make the world a better place by the skills that we bring? So speaking of that, speaking of skills, I'm gonna send her right now to Ms. Koonsman. She's gonna give us um, our behavior, our PBIS, uh, winners this week by living the Edison Edge of being safe, respectful, responsible, and friendly. So, Ms. Koontzman, take it away. Hi, Edison Eagles. Mrs. Koontzman here to read the Edison Edge winners of the week to you. I have a little help today from our sixth grade friend, Malia Jackson. Our PBIS, Edison Edge, is to be safe, be responsible, be respectful, and be friendly. This week, our winners were nominated by teachers for being respectful. We have six winners this week, and you can watch your mailboxes in the next coming days to find your gift card in there. And the winners this week are Maya Racine, Marielis Luciano Rivera, Allie Bookmeyer, Carter King, Asha Shalila, and Brian Ramos. We also have a teacher winner this week, somebody who has been building community, being collaborative, focusing on learning, and bringing positive energy. And our teacher winner this week is Mr. Vandenboom, one of our math teachers. Mr. Vandenboom is a great colleague and team member. He's always excited and happy to plan lessons for the team. He's excellent at making sure we're on the same page. He makes sure his students are having fun by using engaging activities. And he's great at making parent contacts and doing positive shout outs for his students. Way to go, Mr. Vandenboom. Congratulations. And Edison Eagles, remember to win next week. We're looking for students who are being friendly. Welcome back. Thanks, Ms. Koontzman. Thanks to all those students that are living the Edison Edge, staff members that are living that staff, Edison Edge. And sometimes I feel we need to model what the Edison Edge is and what it isn't, right? And and sometimes I think that's important that I model the Edison Edge for all of you as students. And, and for instance, and I'm gonna kind of model what it isn't. So if I showed you this empty glass case, nothing in it, see like that, and I said, what is this? And um, and you and you were looking at me like, I don't know what it is, it's an empty glass case. And no, I said, no, that's the Detroit Lion trophy case because they've never won the Super Bowl. That would not be living the Edison Edge for some of our Detroit Lion fans out there that are staff members that we have on staff. So I would that wouldn't be appropriate. So I would never do that. What I would do is be an encourager for them and be there for them for moral support during many of those losses and some of those tough seasons. That's living the Edison Edge. All right. With that, I'm going to send it right to Miss Skog. I know she's got a lot of announcements, some exciting things about basketball, uh, starting for some of our boys here. So heading back to, um, I'm going to send it back to now, Miss Skog, take it away.
Hello, future Edison basketball players. My name is Coach Schweiner, and I'm going to be one of the three seventh grade boys basketball coaches for your upcoming season. Some of you may remember me. I'm a retired uh, gym teacher at Edison, was a teacher there for the past 30 years. Uh, also have done some coaching there at Edison. Uh, looking forward to coaching and working with you uh, this upcoming season. A little bit about my coaching background. I've been coaching basketball for over 20 years. I've spent uh, 12 seasons at, at the high school level, both at Green Bay Southwest High School and at Green Bay Preble, uh, serving and coaching in their programs. I've also spent the last three years coaching Edison uh, uh, basketball as well. In fact, if you were a sixth grade player last year, you might have remembered me from being one of the coaches last year. Uh, our season starts Monday, February 8th, and we're going to start the season virtually. And even though we're not going to be able to work with you in person, uh, that myself and the two other coaches are excited because uh, we're going to provide you with some fun, challenging uh, workouts and uh, basketball drills to help improve your game. So again, Coach Weiner here, looking forward to working with you, uh, looking forward to helping you to become a basketball player. We'll see you in about two weeks. Thanks. Bye. Greetings, everybody. My name is Mr. Pierman, and I'm your seventh grade boys basketball coach. Uh, I had some of you last year in sixth grade, but the, the season kind of got shortened because of COVID. So I'm happy to announce that uh, I am back along with Coach Schweiner and Coach Buss. Um, I am a retired, I just, I just retired as a school teacher. Um, I spent a lot of time the last 20 years at Edison um, teaching seventh grade social studies. All right, again, I'm very happy to be coaching and um, hopefully we can teach you some fundamentals and some technique in basketball that you can carry on for your life. So again, I'm Mr. Pierman and um, I'll see you down the road. See you later, bye. Hello, my name is Craig Buss. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Wilder Elementary School in Green Bay. This will be my second year of coaching basketball at Edison Middle School. Previously, I've coached at many other middle schools in the area and have spent four years coaching at Preble High School. I look forward to spending time with you in this virtual environment, getting and working on all of your skills and you to be the best player that you can be. So I hope to see you on a Zoom meeting soon. Thank you. Hey guys, my name is Coach LeClaire, and this will be my first year at Edison coaching eighth grade boys basketball. I currently teach at Preble High School uh, with ESL students, um, so you might see me there next year. Um, but I'm super excited to be a part of what's going on at Edison and excited to get the basketball program up and running. Hey guys, how y'all doing? My name is Mr. Kowalczyk. Hey, I've been um, coaching basketball. My first basketball camp that I worked was in 1980. Um, fell in love with the game, and I've been coaching ever since. I have not missed uh, a season in like 40 years, whether I'm coaching middle school or high school basketball. And I've been in the Green Bay Public Schools now for a number of years too. I teach over at um, Baird Elementary School. I'm the gym teacher over at Baird Elementary School. And so I love hanging out in the gym. Uh, I miss it these last couple months. I miss not being able to be in the gym. And um, hopefully at some point real soon, we'll get back in the gym, be able, to, be able to play a game again. People, I'm, I may be a little bit older because I've been around the game a long time, but I'm always willing to learn something new. And with this new type of learning or this virtual um, season we're going to have. Hopefully we can play a little bit at the end also, but um, we're going to be learning together. You guys will be able to teach me something about the game, hopefully also, and um, let's get after it, man. Come and sign up for some basketball, and we're going to have some fun. See you soon, hopefully, guys. Good 
Wednesday morning, Edison Eagles. Thank you, coaches, for doing that introduction into 7th and 8th grade boys basketball. That is our first announcement for today. 7th and 8th grade boys, you will be starting basketball practice on Tuesday, February 9th. That is your first practice. Uh, it will be uh, after school, Tuesdays and Thursdays. 7th grade, you're going to practice from 3 to 4. 8th grade, you're going to practice from 3.15 to 4.15. Come and do some team building, workouts, ball handling drills, and more with your coaches. Uh, you will see that announce uh, that sign up for 7th and 8th grade practice uh, below. I will also post this in your Google Classroom page. So if you're interested in signing up, you can just fill out the form. Once you sign up, you will be invited to a Google Classroom. And if you need a basketball, don't have one at home, we will be loaning out basketballs and I can drop one off at your house. If you have any questions, your coaches' emails are down below as well. So please feel free to reach out to them if, with any specific questions, and you can email me as well. Another club starting for the year is Yearbook Club. We meet today at 3 p.m. If you uh, like taking pictures, editing, creative design, then join Yearbook. Um, you can email Miss Williams if you have any questions, and you will see the link uh, listed in this document. Environmental Club will meet for the first time today from 3 to 4. There are still some open spots for environmental clubs, so email Mr. Stromberger if you would like to sign up. Science Club will be meeting on Tuesday, January 26th. Remember to check out the Google Classroom for material reminders. Um, any students who want to join, investigate, and experiment, there's no cost. We meet twice a month. You can let Ms. Tennyson or Ms. Kirst know if you would like to join. GSA will meet today at 11, and new members can contact Ms. Winkler to join. Show Choir will have our final meeting on Tuesday, the 26th at 3 o'clock to watch the performance video. And at the end, you will take a group picture for the yearbook. Um, we realize that at some point, maybe we will be back in person to take yearbook pictures. But just in case, uh, we are going to have some Zoom yearbook pictures for um, all of the activities that are going on. So uh, my requirement for these pictures is that you need to turn on your camera. I have asked all of our advisors to make sure that everybody turns on their camera so we can get a great yearbook picture. Even if we do come back and get our uh, pictures in person, it's going to be fun to have this Zoom picture to look back on and remember these times that you've had at Edison. Musical will meet uh, the 20th with audition soloists and the 21st with all cast. You will also be taking a uh, picture for the yearbook as well. Forensics will meet at 1045 today. Make sure you're practicing your pieces. Mag Scholars will meet at noon today. Let Ms. Pampern or Ms. Kirst know if you have any questions. And this message is for all students. Mag Scholars is participating and in inviting you to participate and giving a shout out and thanks to our local health care workers. Please check the Edison student page in the Google form to submit your message of thanks and feel free to get creative. Um, and make a homemade message or just type some words of gratitude. Thanks everybody for helping out and giving back to our community. Chess Club will meet at 11 today. Mr. Pineda also wants to remind you that you'll be taking your yearbook picture today as well. Don't miss the opportunity to show off those beautiful smiles. FFA meets tonight at three o'clock. Um, and then student council, if you're still interested in, in student council, they're still accepting new members. Below you'll see the informational video the Google sign up and um, some information that you can check out there. For those who are already signed up, thank you. Uh, we've been at uh, your advisors, Ms. Jamali and Mr. Bush, have been adding you to the Student Council Google Classroom page. So make sure that you check the Google Classroom for updates. And that's where your um, Zoom link for your meeting uh, next week will be held as well. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to any of us at the bottom of this sheet, any of the advice, advisors if you need to contact them directly. Boys, please don't forget to sign up for boys basketball and yearbook. Please make sure that you attend today if you're interested. Otherwise, I will see you next Wednesday. Have a great week. Did somebody say basketball? One of the things that people don't know about me is that when I was a kid, I wanted to be a Harlem Globetrotter. I don't tell many people my, my, my dreams when I was a kid, but I just want to tell you, coaches, thanks for creating this opportunity for our kids. All right, and let's, let's make it happen here this year at Edison. Let's go.
All right, Edison Eagles. One last announcement and one last really neat opportunity for you to hear today. Just as many of you know, today is the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden. And it, in an inauguration, there's so much to learn about the history of our country. We have one of these every four years. And one of the things I know we all come from different political uh, viewpoints and stances. And that's why that Edison Edge not only works at Edison, but it'll also work when you're, uh, you're an adult. Those four values that we are teaching you here are good everywhere. I know you may be having conversations in your classroom, classrooms about the inauguration, about different things, but also um, we're going to have an opportunity later today for you that Ms. Pamper is going to introduce in the video in just a little bit. But I always stress, live the Edison Edge and let's be respectful and responsible and friendly to each other. All right, I'm going to send over to Ms. Pamper and this is Ben for me, so go pack go. And here comes a great opportunity that even includes a little bingo. For Ms. Pamperin. Take it away, Ms. Pamperin. Hi, everybody. My name is Ms. Pamperin. I'm a seventh grade social studies teacher, and I'm here today to talk to you about an opportunity for a little bit later on in the morning. You may know that today is inauguration day, and um, if you don't know what that is, or you're interested in learning more about it, or if you know all about it, you just want people to watch it with, I'm offering you the opportunity to have a viewing party with me um, as we watch the inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden. I have an awesome, fun activity for us to do while we're watching it. We're going to be playing some Inauguration Day Bingo. So check it out, y'all. You are going to get a bingo card if you join me. And there will be prizes. You'll be filling out this bingo card while we watch. And you will be able to ask me questions about what is happening. Why is it happening? How does it happen? So we can understand a little bit more about our government and get civically engaged. So come on down at 11 o'clock to the Zoom link in your Google Classroom. And I hope to see you there.